Hey everyone, I hope you are all well. Today's video is going to be all about 10 business ideas that will make good money in Uganda. So when it comes to business in Uganda, the opportunities are plenty. Of course, the scale of the operation will be determined by the amount of capital, but at every financial point, there is a chance for you to start a business. So number one, property development. Of course, this one requires a lot of capital to be able to get started, but I think you can do it in different ways. If you can manage to get yourself um, a decent piece of land in a good area, then you can build up an apartment complex or perhaps a, a whole village, as I've seen some uh, Africans do, not necessarily in Uganda, um, but I'm sure there are many in Uganda. That could definitely make a lot of money because more and more people are wanting to live in secure apartments, in secure apartment blocks or secure homes and many people are you know wanting to move back home whether it be people who are born abroad like Ugandans who are born abroad or or even people who have not actually um, lived in Uganda before and they are not actually Ugandan they obviously are used to security yeah you could develop um, a little village or you could just develop you know nice quality apartments or nice houses to um, to rent out and yeah actually it will be um, an initial uh, investment quite a big initial investment but I think over the years and through the generations <laughs> and through the generations it, um, it sh is sure to make money so if you have the capital and you want to start big that's something that could really uh, pay off over time. Okay, so the next idea is Airbnb. If you already have an apartment, house, a property, an apartment complex, then you can actually rent it out and I think that could uh, bring you in some money and it could be quite a good uh, business model. A lot of people are taking their Airbnb properties quite seriously these days in the sense that they've developed this whole kind of brand apartment persona in terms of like um, creating the social media and like creating a website so it's almost like it's like a hotel really so yeah it's listed on Airbnb it's listed on um, not listed but well no it's not listed but it's put on um, Instagram or social media just to kind of showcase like this is the property come and book with me so that is another business idea that can make money in Uganda Three is a travel and a tourism company. Um, a lot of people want to come to Uganda to travel around and just experience its beauty and just have a great time. And if you know a thing or two or quite a lot actually about, not even a, just a lot, if you can show them something specific in either a specific area or focus on a particular theme, maybe you go out into the jungle, like showing them, um, showing people gorillas, like gorilla trekking or perhaps you know the best waterfalls or perhaps you know a lot about like historical landmarks or certain communities, special communities or kingdoms or kind of mountains, things like that in Uganda, then you can actually start a tourism company. These days people want a bit more from, uh, from their tour. They want to be kind of given the real experience. So if you know how to do that, if you know how to kind of give people a special experience in terms of either in your like personality and how you host and like those little extra things that you throw in in your expertise in uh, those giving checking off those key requirements that people want package your offering in such a way that makes it just appealing I think that could make you stand out on top of that if you know how to use digital marketing I think that could also help you in terms of getting the word of mouth out before people actually start looking it could inspire people to travel and to um and to book with you just kind of go for the experience and um, yeah it does usually help to collaborate in terms of these trips there's always like a driver and then the tour guide and it's not just for Uganda it's other countries as well there's always like somebody who's doing the tour then there's somebody who's doing the um the speaking with the microphone or just like if it's a small vehicle like just talking to people uh, sometimes it's just a, if it's a, just a really private tour it's like a four-seater or five-seater just enough to fit like four or three guests then um, it's just one person hosting that tour 
but yeah I think that if you could actually set up a travel company in, in your own special way that's something that could make money in Uganda it's a good business idea the fourth idea is a song composer and when I learnt that um, musicians and song writers, performers, artists could make money um, doing this, I was like, wow, like why aren't more people doing it? Yeah, so if you're a musician, if you're a music producer, um, you can collaborate with artists, or if you're a singer, you can collaborate with the music producer, and you guys can do like wedding songs, birthdays, um, and other events, like all events, any event you can think of, you can promote yourself and make some money from it. The reason I knew this is obviously because when my sister got married, she ha we had two songs composed for her. Of course, we paid those people. One of them did not even ask for money, but of course I had to give him something because I was like, this is a really great song. And actually she had two songs one of them which was more like traditional like kind of I can't even say like kubu kubu because I don't, I'm not sure if that's kind of like what it is but it's a kind of style of song um, and then another one was like more kind of mellow and like dancing kind of like yeah another one was more mellow kind of urban and she had two songs for her wedding and I was like wow like if these people could really maximize on this like really really maximize on this they can make a lot of money um, it's a great business idea for creative musicians who really feel as if they have the talent they really have the talent and the skill but they just don't get enough customers maybe it's time for you to put yourself more out there like online because I don't think you necessarily have to market yourself just to the locals in Uganda it, there's so many Ugandans all around the world who would like to um, have a birthday song you know it's just a thing it's not really a traditional kind of British or English thing to do to have like a song written about you for your wedding people will dedicate a song to you like you'll have that wedding song like oh, Ed Sheeran or you know that song that you dance to and you'll be like oh, that's, our, that's our song but in Uganda you actually have a song with your name in it <laughs> you actually have an actual song with your literally full name in it all your family members or like people who you're the person you're getting married to you're you as a couple and it's your song because it was created for you and i think this is a great business idea this is a great um, idea a lot of ugandans are already doing it. a lot of artists are already doing it in uganda but um uh, I guess my point is just to say that, you know, there's, there's more to it. This could be maximized on in terms of marketing, in terms of futures. You could just get a bit more um, savvy with email marketing or even with just like content marketing, like on TikTok or Insta, Instagram. Just post more and just like be a bit more like strategic with your marketing. You could just attract more customers. Yeah, this could really go far. Okay, so five is music studio or record label. So it's still connect, a little bit connected to the previous point. If you have the capital to get started and you really want to do something on the ground, then definitely so many artists, as I said, coming up. You obviously have to find a way to find a good price point so that you are actually making good money. But if you're a good music producer and you know how to kind of bang out those beats for people and like record people then perhaps you want to start a music studio or even just start a record label open the music studio uh, maybe get an engineer or a music producer to work in the studio and then you can like be the owner of the label kind of manage things and you just have to kind of decide for yourself where do I prefer to be do I want to be like on front line so to speak like do I want to be in the thick of it in the mix kind of actually working with artists kind of like in the studio make sure you get some air conditioning as well like seriously some of these studios are so hot <laughs> please get some air conditioning in your studio yeah anyway um yeah so um do you really want to be in the studio or do you want to be like do you want to have a record label that maybe you just want to start something um a new brand you know and really and truly i think there's like potential for any business to kind of really do well 
but these days it's just like you actually have to kind of work on that branding aspect i mean in every country you know not every but like in uganda there's in uganda there's like millions of people there's so many people but people can complain that our business is not doing well but why isn't it doing well do you print out flyers you hand them to people do you mention your business in every conversation do you represent your business today i went to an event and somebody was um hosting chocolate experiences she had a chocolate um necklace not actual chocolate but it was like in this half of a chocolate slab so you just have to find these little ways to kind of market yourself that people know oh she must be a fashionista or he must be a music producer he must be a photographer she must be um, a foodie or how do you even represent yourself as a foodie i don't know but um but yeah you can come ready you can always come ready by having somehow your business card nowadays people do have not digital but like qr codes and digital business cards where people can just like oh scan this code and you'll connect with me but sometimes it's just easier to like you go have my card and it's just like a paper like traditional like old school fashion old fashion card really and truly you just need that way of marketing yourself so that you never have to experience these times where it's like oh business is not really is not really doing good these days but you have a business you offer a service you have the potential to make money okay so that fifth idea was music studio and i kind of dived deep dived a little bit into the whole marketing aspect okay so six is convenience store you can open a small shop nearby selling essentials and selling your own special things that you feel as if people uh, would need want or like and they are actually all over the streets in Uganda all over the road so that's this is nothing really particularly new the only thing that I can say that can make your business stand out is just basically have excellent uh, customer service and try to test out different products and see what people respond to and obviously have your prices uh, be competitive and design your shop in a really beautiful way always make it uh, clean and a welcoming place that people want to come back to and also feel as if they want to support you but it's not by force like you don't have to like force people to support you but I think when you give people all those things like customer service nice environment make sure there's no like nothing in your shop that's like kind of rotting or going off because that can that smell can also push people back just like try and make sure it's clean be friendly and nice you know maybe maybe air conditioning although i know that's going to increase the bill and it's not really typical for any shop to have but ah, maybe it could be something that sets you apart from the other uh, stores but that's another idea of a business that could make money i actually saw uh was watching a video and i saw that this lady in uganda was making quite a lot of money by uh with her shop in uganda and uh, just by selling things just buying just simple the simple process of buying and selling buying and selling buying and selling and she could keep herself afloat you know okay so seven is catering business i don't exactly know all the rules and regulations in uganda but that's something that you can look into with regards to how you would go about uh, complying and making sure that it's safe for the for public consumption but if you could start a catering business then you can cater to parties events weddings etc if this is something that you're interested in then you'll find that niche that you want to specialize in whether it be savory foods or perhaps it's just desserts you want to specialize in or cakes wedding cakes or, um, birthday cakes i know that my cousin actually does cakes in uganda which is really really amazing to see that's definitely something that you can do and you can start small and just keep scaling up eight is a beauty salon of course you can do so many treatments a couple of times i've needed a refill now, they didn't really have all the tools you would see like for example here in england or just a lot of other places so if you could start a really nice nail salon import or kind of like source all the equipment that you needed to do nice like gel nails acrylic nails or even Biab nails that I've seen coming up 
these days then I think that really could set you apart like to do really really nice nails definitely nails because it's still an upcoming thing in Uganda in terms of like universal nails not just painting they already paint really really well they paint really 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 well of course if you have other ideas for a beauty salon then yeah just make sure that your service is 10 out of 10 but make sure that you have like the correct tools a lot of the services that I'm mentioning are like kind of basic simple but then what could set you apart is just the way that you carry out the business you know it can really set you apart giving the clients a really good experience it's just like thinking of these little customer service hacks that can actually serve as a real catalyst to skyrocket your business success exponentially because it just sets you apart and i hope that one day just good customer service can just be the standard and nobody has to like complain. A really, really good service with like standardized equipment would make a difference. I know that in Uganda sometimes it's like, oh man, I need the capital to get started. But if you can do some crowdfunding and actually pay back the people who have invested in you, don't just take people's money and then you never make the business a success. If you can do some crowdfunding or like work in another job and just like set aside the money for like a good, I don't know, six months or three months, just working, 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 putting the money aside and then maybe coming up with some hustle. I've got other hustle ideas that absolutely anybody can do with a smartphone. If you can just put the money aside to get the capital to start this, then I think that you can actually do it, get the lamp, get the gel, all the things that you'd need to kind of start off doing nails or all the things that you'd need to get to start off doing hair. With hair it's not that hard because people always come with their own hair. It's just that sometimes you need to wash it so you probably need some shampoo, conditioner, etc, etc. If there's something that you really want to do then you can indeed definitely do it and you can indeed get started. You just have to have that plan in place to, to get started. and. Perhaps I will talk about ways in which you can actually kind of raise the capital to uh, get started. Number nine is to start a tech company. Um, you can actually start an app or you could create an app or a website that would just make people's lives easier because nowadays a lot of people have smartphones, laptops, you know, access to technology that they use in their everyday life. So if you can start a company that would just make people's life easier, that would just make their lives a little bit more um, s smooth, then there is definitely room for it. There is definitely room for you. So get thinking about what you could do. Maybe ask people in Uganda, do some market research, make observations and ask questions and think of an idea that um, you could start an app that you could create that people could download and um, and use. I don't know whether it be shopping, something. 10 is farming. There's plenty of land in Uganda, absolutely plenty of land. So if you could just acquire some land, acquire a plot, acquire something to start with, plant, sell it in the market or get people to sell it in the market for you, there you go, you've got a business. You want to get started on a larger scale, but perhaps you don't want to, or you can't afford to buy the land outright at the moment. You can always rent the land until you gather the capital to actually buy. But I think even renting long-term is a possibility and starting a farming business, whether it's growing cocoa, growing sunflowers, growing rice or growing something, and then selling these products, you could sell the vanilla or you could create vanilla essence. Yeah, that's something that you could do. Or you could sell the coffee beans or you could make coffee granules, you know, create a new product. You could sell the cocoa beans or you could make chocolate. That's the kind of thing you can do with farming and the opportunity is just plenty in Uganda. Okay, so I have a bonus idea. Number 11 is to start an online business and content creator or consultant are the first things that pop out to me. You can consult in any topic of your choice, but it is the content creation that will fuel the bookings, that will fuel the clients to actually be attracted to you, to actually book 
with you. So there is that. And then there is simply being a content creator, just creating content on YouTube as another business. But I would say that for that, you definitely would need a lot of views and a lot of traffic to be able to make a sufficient living. It always helps to either have these additional services such as consulting or digital products or if you are kind of like positioning yourself as a consultant to have content to actually um, generate those client leads and this business operation can be as big or as small as you like it so those have been my 10 plus one bonus business ideas for you to start in Uganda that could make you a good amount of money make you a good living I really hope that it's inspired you today if you haven't gotten started on any of these ideas or any idea take some inspiration or directly just take the idea and run with it Thank you so much for watching today. Let me know if you have any other video requests and I will see you in my next one. I will see you in the comments first of all, but I'll see you in my next one. Bye.